The U.S. has reached a milestone in COVID cases. There are more than 60 million positive cases since the start of this pandemic. This is according to an NBC News tally. 5.5 million, 5 .5 million people have died globally from COVID-19. This is as the Delta and Omicron variants are surging across the country simultaneously. Meanwhile, cases are still up here in Indiana. The state's latest report included nearly 15,000 new cases, and there could be a lot more considering these numbers do not take at home tests into account. And as of now, around 3.5 million Hoosiers are fully vaccinated. We'll get another update on those numbers a little later today. Pike Township will be remote learning through Wednesday this week. The district says that's because of bus driver illnesses and COVID isolations just reported. This morning, the early learning center will also be open following its normal schedule. Pine Ta Pine Ta Pike Township, that is, will have an update about the rest of the week on Wednesday. Well, tonight's excitement for the national championship game isn't coming without COVID concerns. Lucas Oil Stadium will be at full capacity with no masks or vaccine requirements, which has some people wondering why the city isn't doing more. We got a tweet from a doctor at IU School of Medicine. He says in part, what frustrates me is that Indy had the national platform to lead. Instead, our leaders elected to do nothing. The health department says they are working with the stadium to keep things safe. Their statement recommends safety measures like wearing a mask indoors in public spaces, social distancing, washing hands frequently, and covering coughs and sneezes. And you can get the COVID vaccine in downtown Indy today. The Marion County Health Department is hosting a clinic from 10 until 4. You can look for it, which it's open right now on Washington Street between Pennsylvania and Meridian. Pfizer and Moderna shots will be available for those 12 and older and the J&J &J doses for anyone over the age of 18. There will be rapid tests, but we're told those are only for game ticket holders for tonight's game, not for general public. The results for those tests are generally returned within 15 minutes. The testing is to, of course, try and ensure no one with COVID goes into the game. From Washington today, another member of Congress has tested positive for COVID. According to her Twitter account, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is recovering at home with COVID symptoms. She says the positive test comes despite the fact that she had been fully vaccinated, including a booster shot this fall. Ocasio-Cortez joins a growing number of representatives who have tested positive, including fellow Democrats Jim Cooper of Tennessee and Sean Kasten of Illinois. Happening today, veterans are back at the State House for Military Veterans Legislative Day. This event honors those who have served while allowing them to learn more about bills that actually affect them that are being considered by lawmakers. This is the eighth year for the event, which was virtual last year because of COVID. It started at 1030 this morning. It is open to the general 